I've been to the charity shop with my mum. I've not been to a charity shop for months and months and months and months and months, since, way back since before lockdown. So I may have gone a bit loopy. But it's all stuff we needed. As I said to my husband, it's all stuff we needed. <laughs> and I got some great deals on books. So um, I, sh I went in with my mum. I'll show you what I got now. I'll show you what I got. I'll show you what I got. Um, and all the clothes were 50% off. So whatever price you see on the clothes, it was half that. We got this little pencil case, a pinky, but she'll probably use it as a bag because it's glittery. But she gave us that for free because she said, because me and my mum had bought so much stuff, she was like, you know, for free. <laughs> so I'm not going to argue with that. Um, 50p each, these two sticky fly traps because we have a terrible fly problem in the summer. And I've just had to buy fly traps off Amazon because the local shops didn't have any. So I was like, I'm going to get these and keep them, even if I end up keeping them for next year. Um, little bag for Pinky. Pinky's my daughter, she's just turned three, if you're new here. Um, she loves little bags. And my mum picked that one up for her, it's got butterflies on lot. And I don't know if you see the like, see-through sequins. It's Pinky like that. These two books are for me. One's a CAD file. My mum and dad used to watch Cad File on telly when I was younger and it's a monk, a medieval monk that solves murder mysteries. St Peter's Fair this one's called, so I thought that might be interesting and worth a try. So that one's for me. This one's for me as well. It's the Duchess of Devonshire I think, counting my chickens. My mum says she's really interesting and I just like the title so I'm going to give it well. Um, let's get on to books for kids. Uh, if you're new here, we homeschool, we do a lot of read alouds. So Jacqueline Wilson, Clean Break, and it's a hardback look. This would have cost ten ninety nine new. It's 50p look, and it's it doesn't look like it's been read to me. So that's a bargain and that off. Jeremy Strong, he's, his books are always funny, and the kids always love them. The 100 Mile an Hour Dog, another Jeremy Strong. The 100 Mile an Hour Dog goes for gold. So that must be the sequel. Uh, the Bogey Men and the Trolls Next Door. I don't know what this is going to be like, but it's got lots of pictures in. Look forward to it. Might be a, a good one for them to read themselves. Uh, Two Ghoul for School, School Spooks Day. I thought that might be the kind of thing that'd interest my nine year old. Bit of summer, a bit gruesome. A Tracy Beaker book. We haven't got this one starring Tracy Beaker, but we do like a nice Tracy Beaker book. And again, it's Jacqueline Wilson. It would have been. Five ninety nine or and I got it for about ten p. So you can't moan at that. You can't moan at that. I've just chucked it on the floor by accident. So some more kids books. Judy Moody predicts the future. Fifty p. So much to do with a mood ring. I don't know if it'll be any good or not, but for fifty p, we'll give it to Will. And again, it's you know it's big print. It's got pictures. Some of the kids could read themselves. This was in the adult section, but I saw the name Holly Webb and she writes animal stories for children. So I think they put it in the wrong section by accident. The Winter Wolf. And it looks like a bit of an historical one as well as to do with an animal. So I thought Beanie would like that. Oh, Beanie loves the Animal Ark series and we haven't got guinea pigs in the greenhouse. So I had to get that. Had to get it, you see. Had to. Roald Dahl, The Giraffe and the Pelly and Me, never read this one. Some of Roald Dahl's books are good, and this won't be a very popular opinion, but I don't like some of them. <laughs> some of them are good, and some of them are not so good, but we haven't read this one. And it's got lots of pictures in, and it'll be a good addition to our bookshelf. Um, we have got a Florence Nightingale book, but it's for much younger readers. It doesn't tell you an awful lot, it just introduces the person to kids, so... An Usborne Young Reader. Usborne books are really good, but they're really expensive now. So, I don't mind picking one up for HP and Charity Shop. Um, yeah, Florence Nightingale. Oh, this one. 30p, a lot of Thomas book for Bod. Bod's four, and he likes Thomas Tank Engine. So, that'll be a nice one for me to read to him. Lots of lovely pictures. Dinosaur Land. I was thinking of Beanie who's seven for this one because he likes dinosaurs and look it's fairly big print. It's got pictures. I think he'll like that. And it's 20p. 20p. I mean, you know, come on. Shakespeare stories. Four books in one. I'm assuming they've made them in stories palatable for children. But uh, we can give it to Will, can't we? If we don't like it, we get it back to the charity shop. 
and shredder color first reader well some of it's upside down but <laughs> let's just see um it's a top for me look uh if it kind of flares out the bottom so i thought it might be all right because i'm a big gal so that's why i bought him that's plain then there's one with butterflies on it kind of flares out it says seven quid but it wasn't all the all the clothes were 50 percent off i wouldn't buy a top from charity shop seven quid unless it was amazing now this <laughs> is a fluffy fleecy jumper for me for winter but I picked it up because it's got that cat off the Aristocats in. I can't remember its name but it reminds me of my daughter Pinky just with the top knot on the face. It just reminds me of my daughter so I says to my mum I'm going to have to get that. I'll keep me warm in winter. Oh um, because we homeschool we always need crayons and they had these packs for 10p each so we got four. And then they had these packs for 50p each, which doesn't make sense to me. You get more lot with the smaller. So them two 50p each, they were 10p each. I maybe should have just got loads of these. Um, but then again, thinking about it, they will fit my pencil sharpener, they won't. We're going to have to be more creative with them. So, crayons. And then, and then, I got these pair of pyjama bottoms for Pinky. Because once again, they've got that cat on, whose name I can't remember. But it reminds me of Pinky. And my mum picked up this skirt for Pinky. It's got uh, rabbits and foxes on and it's lovely. And my mum picked up this one for Pinky as well. Which is uh, like a net glittery true to a fair. But uh, all the clothes will need washing obviously because they're second hand. And also we've got the whole Covid thing now. Um, this is four jigsaws in one box. Thomas Tank Engine, it says it's complete, so hopefully it is. £1.50, thought that would be ideal for Bod. I was toying with the idea of putting it away for his birthday, but he's seen it now and he'll really like it, so I might just give it, I probably will just give it to him. I'll just give it to him. Um, little truck for Bod, a pair of sunglasses for whoever they fit and whoever likes and They've got cats on lot. Um got a little thing for hanging up coats because even though I've got loads of coat hangers we've still got random coats all over the place and it's wood um my scales are broke and they were quite an old manky pair anyway so we've got these they had a blue set of this as well and if I'd have had the money I'd have got the blue set as well but I thought I can't justify buying two when I don't need to put the bowl on look and as you weigh it it weighs it that way look and I thought Pudge would like that who's nine because he loves cooking so it came to £27, but most on it's mine, I admit that. <laughs> but I paid jointly with my mum, and my mum also bought like a metal a metal fruit bowl with hearts on, and she bought a little basket with like flowers on, some bricks, something else, can't remember what. It is mostly mine, but my mum, I'm just throwing that in there. Some of it was my mum, so it doesn't look as bad. But then books are a bargain. So that's what I got from the charity shop. I think in America they call it the thrift store, but I'm not sure. And in New Zealand it's called the op shop. Op shop. Which is amazing. Um so yeah, that's what I got. Haven't told the husband how much I've spent yet. Going to go do that now. See you next time for a new video. Bye bye.